I had Zoe um, in 2014 and I was coming off a knee injury. My goal was to always come back on the national team. I wanted to make a World Cup team and so you know it took me a couple months obviously of trying to come back with her and it proved to be a lot more difficult than I thought. So I came back with the team in January and uh, had Zoe along with me. I hope when Zoe gets a little bit older I can show her these videos of these games and I can show her pictures and she is excited about watching them. I want her to just, I, I don't know why, but I just want her to be able to just flip on the video and be like, what are you doing? And she's like, watching you, watching you play. And I hope she sees that how tough I was and how I got dirty and that I could still be very feminine off the field, but that when it came to on the field, I was a bulldog and, and had fun doing what I love. I'm gonna tell her there's so many times that I had a lot of confidence and a lot of times I had zero confidence and how to get out of that and how to still believe in yourself um, through all of that process and that it's gonna happen. It happens to every single person. You need the support and I hope that she's gonna learn that but just being around these very amazing women I think she's gonna be a strong girl because of that already and she's not even gonna know why because it's so early on but I think she's really gonna benefit from being around this team. My fight through this whole process was because I wanted Zoe to experience this and I wanted to do it for her and to prove that I can make it back even if it was very difficult and that's one lesson I want her to learn is perseverance and fight and that it takes hard work to accomplish something that you really want. I want to see how passionate I was you know and I think in those pictures with her and see how happy I was that she was a part of it.